welcome back to El Channel Del Mine. Okay, that was bad. Welcome back to the channel, you guys. Thank you for tuning in. Uh, hopefully you guys watched that last video. If you didn't, you definitely want to watch it before this video. This is going to be the lower body version of my upper body. What to do when you've taken a little hiatus from the gym. What to do when you get back into the gym. So, whenever you start any workout, what do we do? We warm up so you want to hop on the treadmill real quick real easy once you feel like you've gotten to a light sweat it's especially important on the lower body days because we're training our lower body you want to make sure they're warm before we really start going anywhere a lot of people like to do the treadmill you could totally do the bike the elliptical whatever tickles your fancy first exercise we're going to do goblet squats these are my favorite version of squats because they really test your score it's really a full body workout because you need to have upper body strength lower back strength to keep yourself up and stable while you do these squats so i figured they're a perfect Perfect way to get back into it you don't have to go crazy crazy heavy to feel that burn and trust me if you haven't worked out in a little while haven't worked out in a little while will not take a lot <laughs> to feel that burn you'll see I always start off with body weight squats you can go lighter than body weight so you really want to take your time do as many sets as you can and then slowly increase the weight once you start feeling comfortable it's the same structure as the upper body you want to do a couple sets until you feel warm as many sets as you can and then once you feel like you're warm enough once you feel like your body's good you want to slowly increase that weight until you can get to a weight where you can rep out 10 to 12 reps no problem you want to do that for three or four sets and you're gold and then you want to move on and next exercise we want to do is we really want to start to get that individual work kind of see if we have any imbalances in our lower body don't know we've been sitting around probably Probably. I know I have for a very very long time ordering Uber Eats but that's okay because we're here to move forward right so we're gonna do single leg lunges we could do forward lunges reverse lunges whatever you prefer reverse lunges will take a lot more stability in your hips and your knees so I would start off with the forward lunges first I like to hold dumbbells in my hands because what happens when you're holding dumbbells in your hands your body's gonna want to shift back and forth so you're using your core to try and stay as stable as possible make it a full body workout if we can right and we'll do a couple sets of those really start to feel that burn it does not take very long to feel any type of burn with lunges I have a very love-hate relationship with them do that for about four or five sets each leg and then move on we've done a bunch of exercises that really tested our core really tested our hips our knees so we're gonna kind of take it easy a little bit head over to the machines give our our stability muscles a break a little bit we'll go over to the hamstring machine I like to prioritize my hamstring because a lot of people the muscles that you don't particularly see a lot of people ne tend to neglect your hamstrings and your back being one of them right I'll do a couple sets of the hamstring really get the blood flowing in my hamstrings before I finish off with some leg extensions leg extensions same concept you definitely don't want to go too heavy for the leg extension there were a couple studies that I've read in the past that linked that exercise going heavy with possible knee tendonitis so I just try and stay away from it I feel better contraction anyway when I go slower so after a couple sets of those will go on to everyone's favorites. They call them the good girls, bad girls superset, right? So they're abduction and adduction, right? We're targeting the outside and the inside of the hips. Really slow, slow reps for this one, but we want to do as many reps as we can. So I'm doing sets of 20 over here. Slow, hold it for a second and then come back even slower. And there you have it, you guys. Now you know what to do, at least for the first couple weeks, the first four weeks, six weeks that you're coming back into the gym. You want to keep your routine as consistent as possible. You want to have a program and then each week try and progress, right? So if you did three sets of 12 reps, aim for three sets of 15 next week. And you want to keep the workouts the same as much as you can. You could keep it upper body, lower body, upper body, work out three times that week, and then slowly start to add maybe another day every other week. You don't have to overcomplicate this. At the end of the day, as long as you're having fun, you'll see the results. You stick to a good diet, you work out, you have fun, live life, dude. And you're there, you're really there. But thank you for watching the video. I appreciate every last one of you guys. If there's anything you guys wanna see, definitely let me know. If there's any questions you have, leave them in the comment section below. Thank you guys for watching, see you next time.